Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm ask actually going to be showing the side effects that I experienced from my first COVID vaccine. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. This video actually starts on Wednesday, May 12th in the evening and then ends on Saturday in the evening. And just before I get into the actual vlog, I want to just say that as of today, I am having no more side effects at all. My arm is 100% back to normal. Yesterday it was still to the point actually where if I was touched directly uh, where I had the injection it was still sore. But as of today it's, there's no pain at all. Let's just get right into it. It is about seven hours, a little over seven hours now since I got the vaccine. I definitely do have a bit of a sore arm. It does kind of hurt to do this, like it's uncomfortable. It's not like I can't but it's just quite uncomfortable. Now, for me actually, I usually do get pretty sore arms from vaccines. Actually, the flu shot that I had in the fall was quite a painful one. I actually had quite a sore arm after that one too. And people say that this one is much worse than the flu vaccine, so I'm expecting to get quite a sore arm. See you in the next segment. Hey everyone, so it is about eight o'clock in the morning now, the next day after getting my first vaccine. And the only real side effect I have is I feel like I've been hit in my arm really hard. That's it, there's been no headache. I'm not really feeling even all that tired today. So, so far so good. I will update again in a few hours. Hey everyone. So it is about quarter to four in the afternoon. I've had my vaccine now for a little over a day. And I think it was uh, early this afternoon, actually, I started noticing that my calf muscles were starting to ache like they did when before I had my spinal tap. So it's both legs, but as of right now, it's not quite as severe. My arm is still quite sore, but I'm definitely noticing some muscle pain. But other than that, I mean, my energy is not really affected. I'm not really feeling any fatigue. I haven't noticed any headaches. It's tolerable right now. See you in the next segment. Hey everyone, so I just ate supper slash dinner. I am feeling pretty rough actually right now. So. I have been actually since I stopped having to be busy with the stuff I was doing today. So I did all of the captioning today and had a little bit of trouble with the one captioning. So it took me a lot longer than I expected to. So it took a little bit more energy than I expected and wanted to. I don't know if I just overworked myself a little bit today or maybe I have a little bit of a migraine from the injection because Headaches are quite common. I haven't honestly had much for headaches though. So the only thing that I'm feeling right now is I'm feeling absolutely exhausted and my face is a little bit warm to touch. I did actually check my temperature a little bit ago and it was still normal. So no fever as far as I know and I'm not feeling chilled. Like I'm feeling quite warm and actually it's a similar feeling to what I get when my IIH is bad or my migraines are bad. I get this really hot flushed type of feeling. I am going to though now rest for the rest of the night. I'm likely gonna have an early night. I haven't been sleeping quite as well over the last couple of days so that's probably not helping with fatigue because 
one day I was really excited and then last night my arm was quite sore. It's still quite sore, but I'll just get to the point probably where I get exhausted and just sleep. That's the update for now. I likely won't update again until the morning. So see you in the next segment. Hey, good morning everyone. So it is the next morning and I apologize for my hair, but I wanna get this segment filmed. So I had a quite rough time after the time I filmed last night. So I was feeling pretty rough when I did that update. I said I was going to like rest for the rest of the night. Well, let's just say things got a little rough. So I had some pretty severe muscle pain and I also had like almost like hot flashes. I get those during migraines too, where I'll get really, really hot and really sweaty. So I've checked my temperature a couple of times and as far as I know, I haven't had a fever at all, but I woke up this morning and feel pretty good other than being a little bit tired. So yeah, and the tiredness is mainly probably because of the fact that I haven't been sleeping as well the last few days. So I'm going to be taking it easy today and just relaxing. And today's my day off anyways, so that's kind of nice. I did end up getting a pretty bad headache in the evening yesterday, but it was like comparable to a migraine. It wasn't anything worse than that. The thing that I had the most trouble with though was muscle pain. My arm is even feeling much better today. It's not nearly as sore as what it has been, so that's getting better. So I believe I'm past the worst of it. So I will see you for the ending of the video. Bye for now. Hey everyone, so it's Saturday now. A couple of days since I last really had any symptoms. I'm still dealing with actually a little bit of a sore arm. My next Update on this won't be probably until July because we're doing extended dose intervals here in Canada. So it's not going to be as long as what some places are expecting it to be, but it's still going to be longer than what many of you in the U.S. have had with your vaccines. I will definitely do my second shot as well. I have to be honest with you guys, I am quite nervous because a lot of people report that the second dose is much worse. So I'm sure there'll be a little bit of nerves as I did have a little bit of a rough time with the first dose. But other than that, I'm so thankful that I have access to the vaccine as quickly as I do, even though it seems like it's been forever here. But I'm so very thankful for the fact that I was able to get the vaccine on the first day I was eligible. If you're enjoying my content, please feel free to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. It just allows us to reach more people with IIH and migraines. When you're subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming future content. If you enjoyed this particular video, be sure to give it a like. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.